Okay, now we have one very interesting property of tangent which defines the reflection property of ellipse. The property is tangent to ellipse at point P bisects the external angle between focal radii PF1 and PF2. That means uh, tangent is one of the angle bisectors of lines or focal radii PF1 and PF2. The another angle bisector will be normal. Kaise prove karenge property? Now, slope of tangent is, tangent ka slope kya hoga? Minus b cos theta upon a sin theta, okay? Slope of pf1, suppose the slope m1 hai, so, kya hoga pf1 ka slope? Slope will be b sin theta upon a cos theta minus a and uh, slope of line pf2, say m2. This is uh, b sin theta upon a cos theta plus a. Okay. Now, we will have uh, some calculations. Okay. We can prove that uh, modulus of uh, m1 minus mt over 1 plus m1 mt. Okay. This is uh, tangent of uh, angle between uh, uh, pf1 and tangent line. This is equal to modulus of m2 minus uh, mt over 1 plus m2 mt. This is tangent of angle between uh, line pf2 and tangent line. Okay. We can easily prove that these two values are equal and each value is modulus of b upon a e sin theta. Okay. That means uh, angle between pf1 and tangent line is equal to angle between pf2 and tangent line. That means, uh, uh, tangent bisects the external angle between focal radii PF1 and PF2. Okay, right? Here, the calculation part is, you can try it. Target is, these two values modulus of B upon E sin theta. Hongi. Now, from this, we can define reflection property of ellipse. Like, uh, if incident ray is sent along uh, line PF1, Okay, then after striking the surface of ellipse, reflected ray passes through the another focus. Reflected ray travels along line PF2. Agar incident ray uh, PF1 ke along hai, to incident ray ellipse strike hone ke baad, focus F2 se pass hoga. Hai na? Agar hum light ka source rakhte hai, F1 ke upar, to jo light rays uh, emit hongi, वो रेस इलिप्स की सरफेस से रिफ्लेक्ट होके फोकस F2 से पास होंगे। This is the reflection property. Okay. Also here we can say that uh, reflection of point F1 in the tangent lies on the line PF2. Point F1 का टेंजेंट लाइन में जो रिफ्लेक्शन है, वो किस लाइन के ऊपर होगा? वो लाइन PF2 के ऊपर होगा। ठीक है ना? In this figure Point S is reflection or image of focus F1 in the tangent line. Point S will lie on line PF2. Point S jo hai, wo line PF2 ke upar hoga. Am PF2 ka extend karenge, to S point jo hai, wo is line ke upar hoga. Now we have very interesting questions based on this property. 